Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a sidecar. Now, this is one of those classic cognac drinks that's directly related to a brandy custard, which comes to us from New Orleans. Now, having said that, the drink itself comes to us somewhere from around World War I, and some people say that, yes, it takes its name directly from the sidecar on a motorcycle, or it's what's left over from a cocktail shaker after you've poured out a drink, you know, AKA the little shooter sidecar. Now, having said that, you can first find this cocktail in print in a couple of places from 1922. We have Harry's ABC of Mixing Cocktails by Harry McElhone, and also Cocktails and How to Mix Them by Robert Vermeer, both of which are fantastic cocktail books. Having said that, this is a shaken cocktail, and what we're going to do first is prep the rim. So what we need is a little bit of sugar, and you just pour some on a plate, and then grab yourself a lemon. And what we'll do is we'll just cut this in half and rim half the glass with lemon juice and dip that into the sugar. Now you've done that, knock off anything off to the side and put this just over here like so. And we're going to actually grab your shaking tin, grab one of the lemons that you have. And what we need to do is we need to squeeze out three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliter into the glass. The second ingredient you're going to use is an orange liqueur. In this case, I'm using Cointreau and yes, it must be Cointreau, although some people will tell you to do something different, but we're gonna use one ounce or 30 milliliters. The third ingredient you're going to use is cognac. And I'm gonna let you into a little secret here. You can use whatever cognac you want. In fact, if you wanna use a brandy, you can too. However, totally up to you. And I'm using Quivassier, and you want a total of an ounce and a half, which works out to 45 milliliters. Your next step is to now shake this with some ice. And you wanna fill your glass about two thirds of the way, three quarters of the way up. And we wanna shake this really hard for a total of maybe 10 to 15 seconds, just to get that correct dilution and chill that we want. So make sure you have a really good seal when you do this. Give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand lemons. Put it off to the side, and what we're going to do is we are going to fine strain this to make sure we don't have any ice crystals or lemon pulp in there. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. So what you wanna do then is take yourself a lemon peel and you just wanna twist it up kinda of nice to give yourself a little bit of decoration and a little bit more of those lemon scents. Now, give it a try. Mm, very good. This is a cognac sour and it's going to be very dry and drawn out. But if you like a little bit of sweetness, that's what your rim is for. Mm, and that can make all the difference for you. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right here.